Um, my name is Miran Ulbin. Uh, I, I will present uh, an uh, introduction to high-performance computing in the University of Maribor. I, I have to apologize because I, I'm suffering from COVID uh, infection and I'm, my voice is still uh, a bit suffering uh, due to this infection. Um, uh, uh, so what what I will talk about uh, first, uh, very briefly, why do we need uh, uh, supercomputers at all? Uh, um, and then uh, I will present some uh, um, uh, hardware uh, presented, uh, which which are we using in in University of Maribor or, or uh, in Slovenia uh, nowadays. Uh, and then a um, uh, major uh, uh, part of my presentation will be uh, usage of these computers and uh, how, how can we use it, how can we access it and uh, uh, so on. So uh, why do we need uh, supercomputers at all? Uh, so maybe main explanation is on, on this slide uh, where, where we can see um, uh, times uh, for calculation of a uh, system of linear equations uh, when we have uh, a matrix of size of like million, we, we don't have uh, uh, resources on personal computer to, to calculate it efficiently. Uh, th this is uh, valid for full matrix with, with no zeros, so like boundary elements, methods, some engineering simulations uh, where, where you, you have full matrix and you cannot uh, just ignore zeros. And, and then you have to uh, split the problem into smaller problems uh, and then to solve it in, in, uh, with a uh, uh, number of cores of personal computer where we are limited to several cores, maybe 16. Uh, but with supercomputer, you can you can uh, utilize uh, hundreds and cores. Uh, so so uh, that's why this time is uh, smaller than in personal computer. Another thing is is memory because if if you see uh, we we want to calculate everything in memory, otherwise it's too slow if you write something to disk. And uh, a requirement for such a matrix like million by million, it's uh, eight terabytes of memory and there is not a lot of uh, personal computers who has uh, such an amount of memory. Uh, uh, th that's why we, we need uh, such computers as uh, which, are, which we are calling high performance computer or HPCs. Uh, uh, another thing, this is just engineering simulation, like uh, for for parallel simulation, uh, previous example. But there are another uh, uh, usages like like uh, artific uh, artificial intelligence. You you have cars nowadays uh, which can recognize the traffic signs, uh, or some cars can even drive by themselves. But this is not uh, uh, something like if then uh, um, uh, program programming in computer, but it's something called machine learning. You have to learn uh, the, the code to, to recognize something and uh, learn to, to uh, follow some process. And this learning, uh, it, it, it couldn't be made in, in car or some device in real time, but it, it should be uh, performed on, on high performance computer for uh, with thousands of cores uh, for, for this machine learning. And, and third thing is the data storage and data mining. Uh, nowadays, um, all processes requires huge domain, uh, huge amount of data uh, to be stored on computers uh, because we record everything and uh, we we have to manage this uh, this data. So uh, the, the, we are talking uh, petabytes or um, uh, uh, like exa exabytes of um, uh, storage which is required, and and this is not easily uh, provided with with like personal computer or. or so, so we we need something with uh, massive uh, data mining and and uh, beside that it it should be fast uh, and and network should be fast and uh, data transfer should be fast everything should be very fast so there are high end uh, hardware and and uh, software solutions required but uh, that that's why we need 
these these computers because uh, uh, every uh, um, aspect of this uh, required uh, in in uh, the, such such a machines in uh, research and in everyday lives as well. Um, uh, so let let me start in in beginning in. University of Maribor, the, the first computer, which was not supercomputer, was IBM 1130, uh, which is on picture here. Uh, um, uh, th this was in uh, 1969. Uh, it was quite early uh, um, for for um, uh, getting computer in university because at the time there was no university still in, in Maribor. There were still several, uh, um, um, even not faculties, but uh, schools, uh, um, engineering school, uh, and so on, and economics. And and uh, this this computer was a major uh, contribution to to um, educating people for uh, for using computers and even 10 years later like uh, 79 when i was student there i was working on that computer uh, but uh, you you don't be misguided by by this keyboard here because we didn't use keyboards to using this computer the, the main entry was was this machine here where where you have to brought your a package of uh, punched cards, uh, which can you you put in the, the this reader and you read your input and then you get output. This is uh, um, a much in the sense of using supercomputers today. It's batch process. You you bring your job, you put it into the computer, you, you get results out. So so uh, this is still how we use supercomputers today. Um, but th this uh, <laughs> this was not supercomputer. It was uh, very very uh, for um, today's uh, uh, viewpoint. It was very um, a small computer. It has just a uh, 4K of RAM. Uh, this mean 4,000 bytes. <laughs> the, the, you have pictures which are uh, bigger than than this computer's memory. Um, so, uh, the, but later on, the, we have uh, other computers uh, as well. But first supercomputer was uh, on University of Maribor was convex. Uh, around uh, 99, uh, it was vector based supercomputer, which means uh, uh, it can uh, it enables to calculate whole vector in one comment. So uh, you you just uh, multiply uh, one vector by another, and and it went in one cycle. So all the data, all uh, components of the the vector were were simultaneously calculated, and 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 this was used for for some years. But unfortunately, in in at that time, uh, soon the workstations like uh, Apollo, Sun, uh, Digital were more powerful than than this computer. There was just few few years uh, time span, and and uh, these workstations were more powerful, uh, and uh, this computer were out of service. Uh, where is not not after long usage of of the computer and um, uh, soon after that the the pcs like uh, personal computers were approximately the same uh, um, uh, have the same power as uh, workstations and uh, nowadays um, names i mentioned sun apollo deck or silicon graphics doesn't exist today anymore because we have just PCs, uh, which are power powerful enough, and 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 that's why we we built later on uh, supercomputers uh, on the personal computers. <coughs> so, <clears throat> idea was to um, buy a bunch of uh, uh, personal computers uh, like PCs, like twenty or thirty of them, and connect them with uh, network and uh, uh, with with appropriate software. We have uh, like computer cluster which will ena which enable calculating or distributing some simulation across uh, various uh, pieces these are these are named ghertz and blue and rheat where, where these uh, personal computers clusters uh, which are not not used today 
the the first uh, um, uh, like uh, um, modern supercomputer in the University of Maribor uh, uh, it, it was uh, HPC core as we, we call it. It was uh, uh, 10 years ago we, we built it. Uh, um, there was a project, university project, uh, where, where we have dedicated 100,000 euros to buy a computer. And what we can manage, it was just half of rack uh, of the um, um, blades. Uh, uh, here and uh, there, there is some switch in in in, in top. The switch uh, offers 10, 10 gigabit uh, network, which is uh, very fast for for that time. And um, and uh, with this this computer is still in use now, so it's uh, it's still very popular and uh, used. But it's small. It it has uh, two hundred twenty cores. Uh, and we we upgraded somehow uh, these blades by by RAM, so we have plenty of uh, RAM and uh, we have plenty of SSD storage. Uh, but uh, it, it, this this is um, a very small and very tiny HPC computer, which enables us to to join into the. Um, a like company of <laughs> HPC users, and this was fortunate because in uh, 2018 uh, there was uh, some uh, project like uh, for a European project for Eastern region, so it, it should be dedicated money for Eastern region where where, where we uh, we would buy a supercomputer there. Uh, and we were the the only institutions in eastern region to, uh, where we used some supercomputer like HPC core. Uh, that, that's why we were selected to head this project. Project like, uh, and um, uh, Professor Ren was a leader of the HPC River project. Uh, but we were too small to to run it by by ourselves. So we we employed uh, Izum and also Fish. Uh, to create consortium, uh, and we talk about how to how to make this supercomputer, um, how to get it. So the what we we planned first, we have to learn how to do it. So we we try to build a prototype HPC uh, at University of Maribor. Uh, and then we we consider some some uh, we will get some um, experience uh, and and then we will build uh, petascale uh, HPC at Izum. Uh, so uh, what what we we just were thrown in water and tried to to build it. We we didn't find any any uh, appropriate room. There was no money in these millions uh, for building some some. Um, a room or, or some uh, building for for the computer, so uh, it it should be standalone. So we just plan it like you plan to to uh, um, assemble a personal computer. You you need some chassis, and uh, we we use container because it should be larger than than PC. And and this this container includes everything like. Cooling because you have to cool with with our HPC core. We we learned we have air condition there and there. We we have always problem with air condition. So uh, air condition is very uh, important for for such a computer. And, and there are some racks in in the container uh, to accommodate this. Um, uh, computers in, in in there, so we we put uh, this this container on parking uh, because where there was a space, and another reason was there is uh, uh, electrical uh, uh, transformer uh, in vicinity of the container, so we can uh, uh, connect directly to to 100 kilowatts, which is required for for this computer. So uh, that, that that's another aspect of, of supercomputers. They require a large amount of electricity to run some some for uh, some some for computational uh, 
phase and some for cooling uh, uh, that. Uh, so uh, another thing uh, which is very nice to observe here, uh, as soon as we put this container, people start to park it nearby because it was a shadow there. So we have to somehow protect this container with such a fence. Uh, and uh, this, this is still uh, now in, in parking lot. What, what's inside the container? Uh, it's um, uh, some experimental uh, um, network. We have uh, two ways network. There, there are high-end uh, Ethernet network, uh, like 100 uh, gigabits uh, Ethernet and uh, 100 gigabit uh, InfiniBand uh, switch. Uh, and every a lot of nodes are connected to to either uh, to to both to InfiniBand on uh, air and internet. Uh, uh, so so um, it's quite complicated network in there. Um, uh, what what we have um, uh, uh, beside that uh, we have uh, some storage uh, like uh, three servers which um, offers concurrent uh, SSD storage. Uh, and uh, uh, some some servers which provide uh, access to the to the computer, and there there are several nodes uh, which are Epic two uh, processors, and uh, uh, we we at, at this point you see we we uh, uh, right here at least twenty eight cores. But what we get in the end was uh, uh, Epic with uh, thirty two cores. So at each node. Each uh, blade of the computer has uh, two uh, epics, uh, therefore uh, 40, uh, 64 uh, cores of uh, um, this this power, uh, and uh, uh, each uh, um, node have uh, 512 uh, um, gigabyte RAM, and there are some SSD for local storage and and of course 100 gigabits uh, connection. Um, there, there are um, six nodes which are different. Uh, these, these are uh, for um, a, a graphic acceleration. We, we use NVIDIA V100 in, in that uh, nodes. There are four cards in, in each uh, of these six nodes. Uh, and, and these are um, the, nodes which provide most of the power uh, of, of this computer. This uh, this prototype computer is now uh, named Meister uh, and um, it it has uh, some internal names and some external names. Uh, you can uh, the, their head note it's called Meister and there are some login notes called Airmeister and there is some some additional like Spring Nevales or and, and some other uh, virtual computer which are for some service. And there there is um, uh, 40, 48 nodes uh, uh, which are uh, Ethernet workers connected just for et to Ethernet, and there are 20, 28 nodes connected to Ethernet and InfiniBand to to test the, this faster uh, um, network solution, and and six nodes for for GPU, uh, so using this NVIDIA accelerators. Um, there, there is. Um, uh, like uh, 138 uh, SSD disk space, uh, uh, which is accessible. Each user has 200 gigabytes, but can be extended. And uh, uh, in in first phase, we didn't plan any HDDs, so and any hard disk. Uh, but later on, we we recognized that we need some some storage to to from this SSD storage to to put some data to uh, external storage so we uh, acquired later uh, some uh, um, like 2.8 petabyte uh, hard disk storage which is organized similarly to to this uh, ssd storage but uh, you can access it uh, like directly in in a user folder or uh, through Amazon cloud storage uh, on different ways. So you have to uh, uh, space for for some backups and, and so on. 
Um, so we, we get uh, we got a lot of uh, experience building uh, this this prototype like Meister, and later on I will show how how can you use it because uh, it's not just prototype it's it's a real uh, uh, HPC for for uh, use in University of Maribor. Uh, but beside that we we plan to um, create real big computer Vega. Uh, which will you visit probably in in uh, afternoon, um, and uh, we we made it similar to to the Meister, so it it should be very similar but ten times bigger, um, and uh, we would maybe make it, um, but uh, it it uh, um, building Meister was very. Uh, uh, <laughs> complicated procedure already uh, and to to build um, Vega at the same fashion it was very uh, scary thing and uh, another thing was uh, that in meantime uh, there there were additional uh, seven millions acquired by euro HPC and uh, it was uh, like a joint venture with with euro hpc and uh, things were changed so we we have to plan bigger computer but with with this plan here we we, we reach uh, uh, some limits because in ezone where this computer should be uh, there there was limitation to to use just uh, one mega watt of uh, electrical power but if we <clears throat> Would extend it, like by by um, almost one third. Uh, it it uh, would be too much electricity, too much electricity consumption in in such an architecture. So we have to consider different uh, things. And so in in tender uh, there was requirement for uh, for liquid cooling, uh, which uh, um, um, enables um, less power consumption. Um, and, and in the end, the, this computer was uh, bigger than 10 times Meister. So uh, what we have now here uh, at Vega, it's um, there are several servers and uh, virtualization uh, computers available. And, and there are 786, uh, no, <laughs> 768 uh, standard nodes. Uh, but but in meantime there was time passage and uh, there are not the same uh, nodes, not the same processor as we have, but newer one. So uh, instead of Epic two, there are ROM uh, and the ROM processors, which each where each processor have uh, sixty four cores, uh, and and this is in in in. In that segment, it's uh, also a much powerful computer, but it's also uh, more than 10 times larger. But in some expect, expects it's just 10 times. Like in GPU partition, we have six nodes and here are 60 nodes. But again, uh, here are uh, NVIDIA A100 instead of V100. So it's um, almost twice the power of uh, of uh, GPUs we, we, have, we use in our computer. So uh, if you build computer two, two years later, uh, you can get much more. This is but this is certain uh, with every computer. If you wait a few years, you get better computer. Uh, uh, um, and there, there is uh, one uh, petabyte of uh, um, high performance storage. Like uh, uh, this is not just SSD, it's uh, uh, NVMe. So it's again much faster uh, storage. And uh, but it's the same uh, file system we are using. Uh, it's file system Lustre now, and, and there is also hard disk storage is much larger. So it's uh, uh, 23 petabytes uh, of storage. Uh, so you you can uh, store everything on on this computer if you want. And this is this is meant. This computer is meant for research uh, um, base research HPC for uh, Slovenian uh, research community and it should last for for some years but we have to plan for for um, better computer in in uh, following years uh, 
the the third part of uh, HBC River project is in uh, Novo Mesto, but there is just small cluster there. There are there are two CPU nodes and one uh, GPU node with the same as Meister and the same um, storage, uh, fast storage as in, in Meister. Uh, that, that's about uh, hardware. Uh, how can you access uh, uh, this this hardware? I will talk in in uh, following slides, uh, but there will be not a lot of talk uh, about accessing Vega. Uh, this is just this slide uh, because um, um, Vega is very big uh, HPC computer, and you have to have some project. You have to apply to tender uh, to to get access. Uh, um, and um, but there are there are some information how how you can get access to uh, to Vega computer uh, and in um, most used way to to access uh, Vega is through through Northern Grid uh, RC middleware which means it's um, a very based on uh, a Linux uh, computer, so you have to have use Linux in in your environment, and you have to create uh, some kind of um, uh, uh, script, uh, which includes another script for for uh, a queue in in Vega, and then you just send this uh, to to some system uh, like IRC system, which then send it to to the computer, and then you get results automatically. But uh, you usually you in that case you don't work directly. It's it's like uh, I said um, uh, you you just have a, a bunch of punch cards uh, as uh, on this IBM 1130 computer and then you do send the package to the Maribor and it will really be processed and uh, you will get results back. Uh, uh, that's that's the way we try to make it uh, slightly bit different in in Meister. So we we try to make it more uh, user friendly. Uh, and I will I will present now the the uh, some procedure which can be used in in uh, uh, our uh, in 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 Meister HPC on University of Maribor. Um, but, and I, but there, there is one uh, problem with, with that, uh, which uh, causes a lot of problem to to outside users, uh, which is uh, a firewall in the University of Maribor, and you you cannot just use any computer in in University of Maribor without uh, coming through the firewall. Um, so if you are inside, so if you are working on on the University of Maribor, there should be no problem. But if you are working from outside, like from home or from abroad, uh, it's uh, you, you have to have access through the firewall, and this is done uh, using a, a VPN uh, client, uh, like a virtual um, um, private network. So you you have to. Uh, get uh, IP which uh, uh, signify you as internal user of the network, and then you can use uh, resources there. Th that's for every computer in University of Maribor. So even even for for our HPC core, you cannot use it from outside. You have to uh, use a, a VPN. Uh, there, there will be not a lot of information about it, about that because this is very tiny and we we are very crowded. We have very crowded user base on that computer. But uh, in some cases, some user can can uh, get access and they they just send request to to uh, Professor N or to me, uh, and we we will consider uh, that uh, if, if that's possible. But this is just exceptional cases because there is very crowded on on this small amount of course uh, uh, there there is very crowded on on uh, Meister as well uh, but uh, there are a lot more resources there um, and uh, you you can apply for uh, for the uh, access uh, through the mail to 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 this HPC Podpora uh, um, uh, mail or you can find everything on on this web page um, 
you what what you would get uh, after that after everything is all right you would get uh, username and password which enable uh, a secure shell access uh, to the computer but it's not uh, so simple that you would just then use it change the password there on the computer but you have to uh, you have username through some service which is slovenian uh, network for for uh, supercomputers uh, called slink uh, and you have to change everything in fido slink dot c uh, uh, but you you have profile there you can have everything there but or or maybe on, on next slide uh, so uh, secure shell uh, it's used with with appropriate client so you either have to uh, install putty if you're working with windows uh, or windows terminal which is very popular now um, uh, if you're working on Linux, you, you just use terminal and you secure shell to to to, to master like, like that uh, with your username and, and password. Um, and um, you can you can use also public key. Uh, um, there 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 is some uh, documentation how to create public key for for. Um, Booty or Microsoft Terminal, uh, but you have to store the keys on Fido's link, uh, like on HPC Core, which is normal usual Linux uh, operating system. You you store your keys uh, to to your uh, home folder, but in Meister you have to store it to the Fido link uh, system. So uh, when you use this this client, uh, you you. Um, uh, Use commands in in Linux like uh, like usual. So um, uh, the, here on this slide are uh, I think all the commands you every user should need. There there shouldn't be any much more. Uh, and this is also too much because uh, for for use of HPC you don't use a lot of commands. You just have to have access and you have to. Uh, put something, some job in into the uh, uh, calculation, so the computer would uh, perform some job for you. Um, another another thing is how how can you uh, get da data to to um, uh, Meister or, or from Meister? Uh, one thing is uh, if you are a Windows user, one thing is Samba. Uh, so you you can map network drive like ordinarily in in, in Windows, and you have uh, just access to the to the computer. Alternative alternatively, you can use uh, secure uh, file transfer protocol like SFTP or uh, scopy secure copy uh, uh, command in in, to, in the uh, Linux, or you can use uh, like Windows client for secure copy which is somehow um, very very uh, user friendly uh, it's like uh, explorer in in windows but it's um, working due, due to this uh, protocol and you can transfer data between like from one window to another like in uh, explorer when where you can copy <laughs> when you, if you have samba you can also copy from one explorer window to another and and then you can copy all data to to Meister and from Meister. Uh, another thing is how to uh, how, how do you submit these jobs uh, um, this these jobs like one one of this job is like I said like a bunch of cards you want to send into the system for for uh, uh, some uh, calculation. Uh, uh, because this batch system it's very similar to to punched cards uh, uh, system so um, but usually there there is not infinite uh, uh, boxes here so uh, um, um, lot of time all the boxes are are um, reserved or, and working something so you have to wait and that's why there is uh, thing called queue because you have to wait in queue until there uh, are resources free for your job and your job will be executed. Uh, 
Uh, so what uh, what are we using? Uh, we are using uh, this simple Linux utility for resource management called Slurm, uh, uh, which is used in most of the the HPCs in in the world. Um, this this uh, queue uh, offers some flexibility, so you have you can have some priorities so some jobs can go faster some can go slower and and so on uh, and you can push something uh, into and but uh, where there are more more repetitive uh, jobs you should stop them a little bit so other user can get to the to that and and that's how how this uh, queue works um, it's all automatic, but you, you user have to uh, use some commands to to submit uh, the job and to observe or maintain their their jobs in in the queue. So uh, well, I will present some some of these comments, most used comments in in, in Slurm. Uh, uh, most used comment in in uh, Slurm maybe. Uh, it, it's not as info, but it's uh, a easiest comment. You, you could just see well, what Q is made of. So uh, how many nodes are there? Uh, are there some allocated nodes or some drained? What, what you see here, it's uh, like a more sophisticated output, uh, but usually you would see comment line output like that with, with S info. Comment here, you have a lot of, you can have a lot of switches to, to display different aspects of, of this queue. Uh, most important aspect it's uh, it's uh, a partition uh, written here so you, you see grid partition what, what we have on on Meister there are three partitions um, one the fourth one is called grid uh, and, and uh, it's um, uh, it's like space where where all jobs are are uh, accumulated. So they they uh, um, uh, and in this grid have uh, this, these partitions have some um, like rules. And one major rule from grid partition is the job you send into the grid can last maximum uh, two days. So when it starts, when when it doesn't count when it's waiting, but when it starts, it should finish after two days. If it's not, it's terminated. It's uh, like uh, you have no uh, um, uh, um, uh, right to, to remain there more than two days and the, the, the job is terminated. If you have a longer job, you can use, we have long uh, queue, uh, but the caveat of this queue is that, that uh, you can run long, longer jobs than two days here, but you have to wait longer because the, the queue is, uh, uh, resources are limited here uh, and uh, all other users are calculating long jobs here. So you have to wait maybe days, weeks uh, until your job will start and, and then it, it can run days, weeks uh, there. And, and third, third partition is GPU, which um, is associated with with GPU nodes. Uh, this is um, um, uh, least uh, occupied queue uh, because um, there are not so many GPU jobs, uh, um, and um, and it it went. It goes fast there in in GPUs because these are these GPUs are uh, really very powerful. The the same applies to to Vega, where have, they have 60 GPUs, but they are not utilized very good. Like like CPUs uh, like this, uh, the queues are utilized very uh, efficient, like 100% uh, in Meister and and in Vega, but GPU is not utilized. Uh, so so uh, it's um, uh, very interesting to to have GPU uh, uh, jobs, and uh, th this will be um, um, things we we have to um, make it more uh, popular in 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 the future. Um, 
next time, uh, ne next uh, next comment is um, uh, uh, SQ, which is um, uh, most popular uh, comment in, in in Slurm, where you can see the jobs. You can see either just your your jobs or all jobs running. Uh, this is like from graphical interface uh, output, but and you can see maybe um, uh, if it's clear enough. Uh, there there are a lot of jobs called something Atlas, uh, and uh, this these are a majority of jobs on on Meister and Vega uh, because uh, these these jobs are cons uh, calculating something from for for CERN. Uh, and uh, there, there is um, infinite uh, number of of these jobs, and uh, if if you want, they will um, they will perform these simulations all all the time for all the resources. But uh, there there should be some place for other user as well. So it is. Uh, so it's somehow um, this these jobs are are limited. But uh, there there is. Um, um in, in CERN there is great requirement for for calculating on HPC and they they have several years for uh, data for for analyze uh, using HPCs so you will see a lot a lot of these jobs on on uh, HPCs all over Europe uh next next comment is uh, cancel as cancel uh, where where you can uh, use um, uh, number if you if you see this this job ID number in SQ you can use this number to to cancel your job uh, but you cannot cancel other uh, people's jobs uh, obviously uh, only administrator can can do that but uh, some sometimes you you see that uh, simulation doesn't go in right direction so you can cancel it beforehand so you don't waste uh, um, time and uh, energy for for calculating something which is lost um, uh, and um, most uh, useful command in 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 slurm is as batch where you really send your job to the uh, queues to, to calculating and, and usually this is uh, some uh, kind of file you sending and, and this file has uh, inside comments which should be uh, um, executed on, on the, the computer. So uh, here is example of very, very simple uh, as batch file, um, uh, which is uh, really bash script, uh, like Linux uh, shell script, um, which is in, in this case, all the comments, because it's green and because it has this uh, hashtag in, in beginning, it, it means it's, it's comments. And only comment here is hostname, which is a line of comment for, uh, for pro displaying the name of the computer. Uh, but, but other comments which are in com comments are as batch comments. So this is this is two ways. There, there are real comments and there are as batch comments in there. So you, you have something like that in comment, but it's really as batch comment like uh, what's the job name, where is output, where are errors, how many cores are used, how many memory uh, do you use, uh, how much memory and how how much time uh, you can use for for that job. Uh, and another another comment with with Slurm is S run, where you can uh, and, uh, run any executable. So if you have some program, you can you can use S run, and it will uh, make a program run on on several computers of the cluster. Yeah, but usually you have to use another comment, which is called salloc, where you allocate. Uh, these nodes, like in this case, you allocate three nodes uh, for for common shell, uh, and then you use uh, S run uh, like this S run with label host name, and and this is output. So obviously, this is not Meister. This this is some other cluster where where the name of the uh, the worker nodes are n zero three n zero one and zero two and they just uh, uh, display the host name uh, of uh, the the node where this SRAM was executed um, but but otherwise you can use any other format any other program 
for for that execution. Um, uh, and uh, uh, there are some other programs which are used by administrators, so there can be make some accounting. So how how uh, many CPUs uh, um, hours you were using on on the HPC? Uh, uh, um, not for um, uh, calculating how much it costs because it's for academic users. Uh, usage of Meister is uh, free, but usually you have to uh, um, um, declare your project how many CPU hours will be used. And on the other hand, when there there is some commercial user, you, you, we can we can um, uh, um, uh, uh, calculate the cost and and then provide some uh, account for for uh, that cost. Uh, there there are um, on on this link there are some nice tutorials. How can you use this uh, as batch script um, uh, with with SRAN? But but usually in real programs you don't use SRAN anymore, uh, but you use something which is called MPA or MPI run, um, which is in in some libraries like Open MPI or MPH or Intel MP, MPI or Platform MPI or for IBM. Uh, there there is always command MPI run, which uh, use utilize utilize these libraries for uh, um, running job and, and then communicating between uh, several aspects uh, of, of these jobs like communicated between different nodes from from uh, different stages of calculation. Uh, so, what, what kind of program you can you can run? You can you can run uh, any uh, Red Hat CentOS uh, program on Meister. Uh, um, but if you have other um, um, operating system, there there could be some problem. Uh, so you can use uh, Singularity containers, which which mean you you just create your virtual computer like in in a uh, form of the image like form of the program on the master and then you run this uh, there are a lot of uh, open source uh, program in in docker hub and you can convert it to the singularity containers and you have a complete um, operating system complete with with the program you just provide your data and then you run this singularity container on on uh, Meister uh, parallelly uh, and and uh, using um, the program into in the container. The problem is, of course, Windows program. You, you cannot run Windows program on HPC very easily. Uh, you, you can use something called Wine, but it's not very useful. So uh, uh, usually, what we are using on HPC are usually Linux uh, programs. Uh, and and all commercial and open source codes which are uh, um, interesting to use on, on HPC are uh, made for for uh, Linux. Um, so other other thing because this this requires some uh, some terminal and and some uh, um, uh, keyboard usage, uh, but nowadays uh, users. Uh, uh, are more into clicking than into typing. Uh, th therefore, we, we created some different uh, user interface, which is uh, somehow graphics. It, it's made on, on web page uh, and uh, it uh, uh, utilizes more clicking than typing. Uh, but still, you have to have every access, like you have to have SSH. Uh, like secure shell access to the computer, and then you can use uh, this website. There, are, there are two websites. It's like one is from Slink, where you can monitor the queue, so you can see uh, what the user are on the uh, um, uh, master and uh, what user are waiting, what are running, and how it's with your job. You can you can monitor here. Another other thing is uh, to to just submitting your job uh, through through the the service here. So first, let's go briefly through through this um, PHP queue state, which is uh, um, uh, 
for for observing the jobs. So you can you can see uh, um, all all uh, three uh, partitions of uh, of um, the Meister. So uh, you see blue one is just one line here, but otherwise there is a grid uh, much um, bigger queue or partition and green is in in between and and you can you can see resources uh, for like uh, every node here and status of the node and you can you can see uh, um, uh, um, active jobs on on the node uh, and uh, um, if, if you look at the queue you can see all the queues so all users who are using uh, this this job and you, you will see a lot lots of user pending uh, and uh, m maybe half of them pending which means they are waiting for resources and uh, uh, half of them maybe running uh, but uh, but usually um, utilization is almost uh, 200 percent uh, uh, sometimes this is smaller than but Sometimes it's around nine thousand cores or all time used. So in 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 bottom you you can see how many slots are used, how many slots are waiting. Uh, so how many cores we we need still more. So in any any moment on Meister there is a lot of rec more requirements than uh, nodes in in use. Uh, but but some uh, lately I think the waiting time is uh, maybe a few minutes or a few hours uh, when when you are pending for small job but for bigger jobs you you can wait uh, several hours or days. Um, you can you can display um, uh, one user and each job so so you can you can see what one user is using. And, and you can even display uh, disk usage, which is on Meister not so appropriate. Uh, it's it's more uh, it was built more for uh, for HPC core, which is smaller cluster, and it's more like a Wild West cluster uh, where some user would uh, assign too much uh, storage to themselves, and then he, he, you should call it call him to to release some space so so other users can can uh, um, submit some job to the to the to, the, to that but on on Meister there is uh, this quota and this is not so uh, appropriate here so another service uh, service uh, which is uh, uh, maybe more interesting is uh, called uh, PHP SBS uh, which uh, um, um, enables sending uh, job and uh, and monitoring jobs and and then getting results from the cluster. This service en enables enables uh, um, uh, using HPC without using terminal. So you don't use terminal. You just uh, as, uh, log into the to the website and then you you select uh, one uh, one program like in this case SRAN. If you have some of your program. And, uh, and on this example, there will be simple simple program created like this is some uh, bash script where where uh, this script is just counting uh, slowly. Um, um, so it's just one uh, loop which is slowly counting and and displaying the the, the numbers. Um, and and then you just send this script uh, for for run. You you can select a node and then you submit it and it's uploaded. Uh, this previous script was created on personal computer and now it's uploaded to uh, to Meister. And uh, in in next time when when it's uh, starting running, it uh, displays the state here and uh, errors here but instead of errors because of the this uh, um, uh, parameter minus v every comment uh, who is running it, it's display here so uh, uh, you can observe how the program is running with 
a, a, a observing log files or what's outputted to the standard output from the program, but you have to refresh the web page because it's not automatically because otherwise uh, the web server would be um, uh, on on too much stress if 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 it would would be um, refreshed every millisecond or so. But if user refresh, it's um, from time to time, it doesn't bother uh, it. So, so, um, but you can see the progress where where is your uh, program uh, at the time, and when when it's finished, it's uh, um, you, you get such a table where where you can you have results of your simulation, and you can just click on on download and every uh, thing in in this folder. So everything in uh, from simulation is uh, um, uh, zipped and uh, stored in one file and then transferred you you can download it, it like uh, like from from web page and you can uh, open it on your computer so uh, 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 this interface is made for for several program like for uh, for ansys uh, programs or for ls dyna or some some other also um, for uh, like calculix or uh, now there's open radius or uh, open foam uh, so so lot of lot of programs have interface um, if if you if you don't want to use this web page because you are too sophisticated user uh, uh, at least you can use it once uh, to to see uh, how the s batch file is created for for a special uh, application and then you just uh, modify this file for for your usage um, if you don't want to use uh, uh, this um, uh, web page but uh, as creator i i like it uh, very much and i usually use uh, this interface for submitting job to to hpc computers uh, uh, Another another thing, more abstract even, it's uh, using uh, um, uh, programs the, uh, which are enable uh, enabled to use uh, HPC directly. One of such program is MATLAB. We have uh, uh, MATLAB campus license uh, in University of Maribor, uh, so we we um, uh, installed uh, MATLAB parallel server on the Meister. Um, so still you have to use VPN, you have to have uh, uh, access uh, like a, a, a secure shell access to, to the master and additionally you have to uh, um, install some add-ons in, in MATLAB and then you can use it like, like that. So, so install this uh, um, uh, um, Mat, uh, MATLAB uh, parallel computing box. Just a moment. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, so you you have to uh, um, a, a install this parallel computing toolbox, which is not uh, difficult. You just in in MATLAB, you just uh, there is one click on add-ons, and you you can install that. And beside that, you have to install uh, a Slurm um, a, 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 this plugin for Slurm. Uh, which is maybe more difficult because it's not directly in in MATLAB, but you you can um, uh, use this link on web page and you can install uh, this uh, Slurm uh, plugin. And this this is all you can you need. So these two additional plugins into the MATLAB, and then you go to to uh, a parallel section in in MATLAB. On this is on your computer, on personal computer, and create and manage clusters, and uh, use generic profile. And in generic profile, you you maybe rename it to have some um, useful name like Meister, and and then. Um, you um, enter some data about Meister, like how many workers want do you want to use, like 200, 
and uh, where where uh, some scripts are, where where is uh, your MATLAB root is similar to to this, um, and then you you put some um, uh, data about accessing like secure shell data like username password here, so you can connect directly from MATLAB to to that, and and um, th this is. Uh, practically done and and then you have created this profile you you can uh, you can uh, validate it you can test it usually it's passed uh, in in master all but but last one uh, uh, lately we had some problem with 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 second option i don't know why but but usually don't you don't need it if you want to uh, uh, calculate it uh, um, like parallelly on on the computer. So uh, in in uh, following slides, there will be uh, presented small test. How can you do it in 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 MATLAB? Um, so this is this is compiled from from this uh, web page. So you can have more information there. But uh, uh, you you create small program uh, uh, which is called Parallel My Wave. Uh, where, where you use uh, a command called par4, which is parallel for uh, loop. So instead, it, it would just sequentially go through the loops and calculate this uh, equation. Uh, here, it's meant to go parallelly. So, so it would be parallelly calculating this equation on different cores. Uh, so, so many cores you provide, so so many parallel calculations will be performed. Uh, so, so you create this simple program, and then you have to create some procedure uh, uh, how how this program will um, be run. So, you will use this created profile we called Meister before. Uh, and then you um, uh, define how many nodes, uh, like in this case, there is one node and, and we have nine cores reserved for, for this uh, uh, calculation. Uh, and there is wall time, which shouldn't be greater than two days. And uh, um, there is queue name or partition name. Uh, and um, we we uh, this is this command start the timer so we can measure time how many time how 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 long this uh, uh, will last on on Meister and and this is the major command you, you just using this uh, uh, program in from previous slide which is called parallel my wave and you say uh, uh, it's pool of eight nodes uh, eight eight cores. Uh, why eight? Because uh, here was nine. Uh, one core is dedicated to this program, and uh, eight additional are for this parallel my wave. So in in MATLAB you always provide one core more for for this accelerator uh, accelerator program. Um, so th this will then run on Meister. And uh, a program like a MATLAB on the um, personal computer will wait for Meister to respond. Uh, so, so uh, the the uh, caveat here is that you have to have open your uh, personal computer for duration of simulation. So, so it 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 it's active on your desktop. Uh, and when when it's uh, this small program is finished, the graph will be plotted because we in in the end here we we said plot uh, this this a these results of uh, this equation, and and uh, th this is directly plotted. So there there is no uh, like using terminal or some other thing, but uh, MATLAB directly is sending data to uh, to Meister and getting results from Meister. So everything is uh, automatically behind the scene. Uh, uh, so it's uh, quite useful. But uh, on the other hand, uh, for some cases, you have to have be interactively uh, on your PC pre present. So uh, this is uh, for, for small time jobs, I, I, I would say. Um, which require a lot of uh, processing power. 
so sometimes this this is not appropriate and 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 with this system we cannot use we cannot utilize uh, gpus on on meister uh, so we we started an, another thing uh, um, so uh, like like on vega where they have more resources and they have uh, like uh, a lot of um, uh, nodes with graphical access so we uh, we just uh, uh, dedicated one gpu node for uh, graphical access so so you have to um, uh, um, use like something like uh, a, a remote desktop from when you know it from windows but now this is slightly different because it using it it, it is using X one X Windows system um, where where you have to have some kind of software installed on uh, on personal computer. If you have Windows program, you have to have something uh, um, like uh, um, X Mank or or some some other program uh, uh, which which provides this X Windows sub subsystem on on your your computer and then you can uh, like uh, using secure shell like putty or something uh, and and then um, everything which is created on the gpu there it's presented on your computer so you you uh, like remotely using powerful uh, node on the on the master and then you can utilize uh, like gpus where, where um, this is impossible, maybe through the slurm. Uh, so, some things are possible. There, there are there are some. Uh, uh, if you want to make rendering using Blender, you can use it through the slurm. But if you if you want to use uh, like um, something like um, machine learning in in MATLAB, uh, utilizing GPUs. Uh, this will not be feasible through through the Slurm uh, interface, uh, but you can you can use it uh, like that. So you can uh, get access to um, uh, one node and then uh, just use it for for uh, like interactively uh, for uh, some period of time. Um, but uh, there there should be a manual scheduler there because user users have to be scheduled to to for usage of uh, such a such a, a resource uh, which is um, not so easy and now now it's done annually um, in in this case i don't know how how this is managed on uh, vega maybe you can you can ask uh, this in in the afternoon uh, so that's uh, 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 almost everything so uh, what what i meant to present is uh, um, uh, how um, uh, how we built uh, our supercomputers and uh, what we have uh, on available in the university of maribor and uh, how can this be utilized uh, and how can user uh, use this uh, these powerful computers in the university of maribor uh, and um, uh, maybe um, you will uh, have some uh, experience with them, some problems. You, you can always uh, direct question uh, uh, to, to me uh, or um, uh, to Potpora in, in, in Meister, but I, I usually uh, perform some, some support in, in, in Meister as well. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, and if there are any questions, please. I'm available now. Can you tell me what what are the operating ports of the high school computer? Uh, sorry, operating ports. Uh, what, what do you mean? How much money is needed for a month? So, so. Oh, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure how how, how much money uh, it it's required. Uh, it um, 
uh, I don't know exact number, but it's uh, in 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 thousands of euros uh, for just for electricity only. No? Uh, in 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 Vega, for instance, it's uh, it was planned about uh, a million euros per year for electricity. I don't know what the 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 current uh, situation is. Uh, I don't have numbers for Meister as well, but but it's uh, uh, like you you saw it's uh, 100 kilowatts uh, of energy and almost um, uh, all the time is used something like that, uh, or I think it's not 100, but it's. Uh, around 60 to to 80 um, usually every day every hour so uh, uh, you can calculate this uh, for for electricity cost only but there there are other costs because there are several people employed and uh, so there are other costs uh, here as well involved i'm sorry may i just ask we were talking a lot about uh, this supercomputer and how it is used in mathematics and in computer science, but how can this computer be used in other sciences other than mathematics and computer science, sciences? There, there are always ways, uh, like like in the previous years, uh, um, the, um, a major major thing when Meister was built, it it was uh, as, uh, started uh, this problem with COVID, and a lot of calculations were were done uh, with determine some proteins for uh, uh, COVID uh, first vaccine and, and some something how how to make a cure and so on. Uh, so so a lot of chemical things can also be done. Uh, of course, uh, some economics and uh, th there could be done something for uh, a rendering I mentioned. So, so if you have uh, a movie and you want to make a, a rendering for, for this movie, so calculating the, the lightning and so on, you, you can use a supercomputer uh, and also Medicine is quite uh, often used for, for this because you have to uh, um, uh, calculate something and 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 um, uh, we we are doing some some research also in in medical fashion like but this is this is kind kind of boundary problems so uh, usually you have to convert everything to engineering and then you are using computing. But but uh, it's not just engineering. What I'm saying it's it, it could be uh, on on uh, our faculty for uh, um, um, uh, uh, informational science. Is it, they they are doing uh, a lot of things for uh, language uh, studies. So they they have to uh, calculate how to translate something and how how can uh, uh, this um, uh, speech will will be produced and and so on. So so lot lots of things are not just mathematics um, and lot lot of things which uh, utilize supercomputers are in uh, all over the scientific field. You, you just have to find uh, the um, appropriate methods to, to utilize computer because uh, usually this is when uh, you don't have time to do it by hand. You have to uh, um, think of method how to utilize a powerful computer to do um, some uh, job for, for you. I hope I, I answered this question. Maybe if you have specific field, uh, I can answer better. A general question, thank you. Anyone else? One more question. Uh, is the master uh, future use just for research or uh, education? Uh, uh, 
mainly it, it is used for for research. Uh, although uh, some some students have access, but th these are these are students who who are making research already. So so this is uh, um, it, it's not uh, so much for education. I don't know. Maybe in in faculty for informational sciences uh, and and computers, they they. Um, Maybe utilize it in in uh, like pedagogical view, but I don't know nothing about that. So most of the jobs are research. Uh, 